Welcome to the show. This is FL Studio 20, one channel. We got Stun in the building. And today we're going to learn how to count beats and use your metronome on FL Studio 12 or FL Studio 20. But it's basically the same thing on both on both versions. Um Yep, you're just gonna click this right here, and uh, you'll hear it. Tit, 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 tit. I mean. So why is that important, though? Well, Maybe you want to know your you want to know your BPM. Uh, get a BPM you're comfortable with. And how do we change the BPM? Oh, you know, you're just gonna go over here, and then um, there's two ways to do it. You can right click. You can select one from here, and this is faster than s using the scroll method, which is just like left clicking and then scrolling on your mouse or uh, thumb pad. I mean, well, both are both are relatively quick, but if you're going from 160 to 80, you can just be like, bang. Uh, there's also the tap. Tapping tap. Yeah. It'll already like put it there if you got like a pace you want to go at. Um, that's pretty thorough, actually. What do you think about that? That's pretty good. And I would say well, the reason why you'd want to turn that metronome on is so you can count beats. So. Yeah, so you can record. So that's that's yeah. a that's a solid point. Let's see what we got yeah. in the uh, channel rack here. Because sometimes I make beats and I, I always try to sync it up with the off beats. So like say one and every time you're saying and that's an off beat. So one and two and three and four for every time it, it hits. There you go. See, yeah, this will keep you on beat when you're recording. Good point though. The metronome and then turn it off. All right, guys. Uh, is that you got any uh, other uh, factoids? Yeah, subscribe if you want some more content. That's right. Subscribe. Leave a comment. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace out. <laughs>